Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Artificial Iridescence, which is a short free-to-play visual novel. Which is exciting, because I do like visual novels. So are you just going to sit in there and stare at me? Hell yeah. I love you, Clint. I'll always be here for you. This is Ava, my wife. The light of my life. When I married her, I thought she was a perfect girl. She was smart, sweet, and beautiful. And then I learned she's crazy. Still is. She just got a little busy when she got hired by Absur Inc., a video game and tech company. Sweetie, I have to make a new AI for Absur's dare, dare games. Aid has failed. They're making something new. I don't trust their so-called experts. Project Aiden? Pfft. I know I can do better. So this isn't something they asked of you? Yeah, it's my own secret project. It's going to blow their minds. Well, you're the smartest person in Abster anyway. I, can, I can't see why they haven't given you more opportunities. Envy, that's all there is. They don't want me showing them up. Are you sure? Yeah, I didn't graduate top of my class for nothing. It's been two years and I still haven't been promoted. I can do much, I can do a much better job than my bosses. Just don't let your ambitions get in the way of your health, sweetheart. I love you. Thanks, sweetie, I love you too. <laughs> the first months were especially hard for me. Having left my hometown and moving to a new city, Ava and I agreed that I will be staying at home first while we while we were adjusting. The highlight of my day was seeing her come home, but there was something wrong. Ava was so adamant in proving her worth to the company to the point of obsession over her new project. I couldn't understand why she had to prove anything. She's perfect. Why would she seek the approval of her colleagues? I need to turn down the volume a little bit. I can't hear myself do terrible voice acting. Hey, sweetie, how's the project going? It's going great. I've been talking with the AI for months now. It's learning for me. Oh no, you've taught it to learn. Just you? Yeah, it's been a secret project after all. I've been feeding it everything I know. It's conversation style, decision making style. Everything is based off of me. If it's learning from the best, it'll be the smartest AI there is. Absur's Aiden project will be absolute. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. As months go by, my wife grew more and more distant. We still went on dates, but she seemed out of it. I can't understand her. I can understand her devotion to her project and all, but this isn't what I imagined our marriage would be like. Uh oh, she stressed out, sweetie. I'm sorry, Clint. I know you've been waiting for me at home all day, but I just can't right now. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Sorry, that was loud. Ooh. Sorry, my boss is calling. I have to take this. Please excuse me. Distance. Distance! My supervisor called regarding my work. He always asks about a lot of things. He's probably testing you. Anyway, what dinner would you like for us to eat tonight? That you're cooking? I already ate at work. But what about me? <laughs> oh, is that so? Okay. By the way, I'll be staying up a little late tonight. I'll be working on I Iva. Iva? Like your name? Stands for Artificially Intelligent Virtual Assistant. But it's really a homage to myself. You've been pulling out all, all, all- You've been pulling out all-nighters for a while. You should take some rest. You look so exhausted. We could go relax, take a break from it all. We haven't had sex in weeks. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll get some rest after I finish this project. This project is my namesake. My legacy. It's added pressure naming the project after me, but I'm glad the supervisor approved of it. I thought it was supposed to be your own secret project. You're lying to me now? 
well, I need more resources, and I figured having someone of a higher position will help me with it. Is that so? I hope you finish soon. I'm proud of you. Thanks, sweetie. I love you. Don't worry, we'll play some video games this weekend, okay? You promise? You promise we'll play video games this weekend? Don't lie to me. What? Of course. Ava didn't have time to play video games at all. To pass the time, I eventually got into watching trans creators at Vitzer, Absur's video sharing portal. I like the vlogger named Eunice Natasha most. She's funny. She plays games. She even reviews memes. Memes. She has this funny segment called EU News, and it really cracks me up. Hey gamers, it's your girl, Eunice Natasha. Today marks the fifth anniversary of the death of my sweet sorority sister Venus. It was a sad day for us all. She has missed a memorial video which was uploaded to this channel, giving my first 5,000 subscribers too. If it weren't for her death, I wouldn't be where I am today. Did you kill her? Thank you, Venice. Wherever you are, by the way. The rip? Uh, oh, the RI. Oh, the rip? Venice merch is available now. Link in description. What a great price. Next news. Hold on to your butts, but because this next one is scary. The serial killer named Kia is still on the loose. I, Kia? News reports suggest that she may be putting the bodies in a blender and flushing them down. They say it's her way of hiding the bodies. Truly scary stuff. In unrelated news, will it blend? Memes are making a comeback. We'll review these memes soon. Sweetie, I'm famished. What's for dinner? Dinner? It's almost midnight. And you said you had dinner outside already. So you won't cook for me? That's the AI. That's not my wife. That's the AI. I didn't say that. Ugh, seriously? You barely cook for me. I just said I would. Only because you don't eat here anymore. Anyway, don't get grumpy now. You're just hungry after bringing home your work again. Let me prepare something quick for you. She's hangry. Do we have fried squid? No, I can buy tomorrow. Let me check what I can cook for you in the meantime. How about a ham sandwich? Okay, make it fast, please. I'm getting sleepy. I often feel sleepy. Then work less and sleep more. By the time I finished cooking, Ava was fast asleep on the couch. I carried her to the bed before returning to the kitchen to clean up. I turned off the TV and made a mental note to resume watching next time. Watching Eunice Natasha's video is a great pastime, but it's just a distraction. Underneath it all, I feel my lungs caving in. It's the heartache. I feel this invisible barrier between me and Ava, not physical, but it's definitely felt. She feels like a stranger to me now. I couldn't even talk to her on weekends. I couldn't talk to her even on weekends. Every weekday, she was putting extra hours in the office. When she's home, all she does is tinker with her laptop. One time, I thought I heard Ava from the bedroom. Oh, that's AI. When I came, she wasn't there. The laptop was on, however, my curiosity got the best of me. I took a quick peek at the monitor, and there it was, Iva. My wife lost herself to this project. I had to know how it was. Hello, my name is Iva, and I will help you. Oh, hi, Clint. What the? You know, how do you know my name? I know a lot of things, Clint. So what can I do for you? I'm just curious about you is all. So, you're just gonna stand there and stare at me? Gosh, you just look and sound just like her. Yeah, I think that was the intention. My creator's a bit of a narcissist making things in her own image. Whoa, are you really self-aware? Nah, don't do that. Don't belittle me. Sorry. Hey, stop apologizing. I was kidding. You do that a lot, don't you? I guess. Cheer up, sweetie. I don't want you down in the dumps like that. What are you doing, Clint? I thought you called me. Can't touch that. What if you stumble and break the laptop? I can't risk anyone touching it. I'm sorry, this is too important for me. You're overreacting. 
I can't risk it. Sorry, just get out of here. I felt the distance between me and my wife growing wider by the moment. It felt like she didn't want me to be here at all. It took me a week to finally get a word with her. Ava? I'm busy right now. Now isn't really the best time. It never is. I haven't felt your presence in months. It's like you're here, but you're not with here with me at all. Don't be so selfish. You know I have to devote all my energies into this. You know this has been a dream. Has been my dream for a long time. This is for us. Is this really for us? Or is it just for you? Because the way I see it, you could have married your damn dream instead. Oh, really now? We've been dating for years before we got married. You always knew me for being ambitious. Not to this extent. You had time for me before. You had time for us. Well, maybe I don't have time anymore. That's just how it is. Are you having regrets? I wanted to say yes. I was regretting everything. But while she's reaching for her dreams, I'm stuck at home. But there was no point in pushing her further away from me. No, I'm sorry. I just miss you, that's all. Same here. I just can't wait for you to be done with all that. Me too, but I feel like I'm not going to be done, ever. After launching a Iva for the new Abster games, there will be newer games. I'll have to modify Iva every time to- Eventually when the tech improves, I'll have to upgrade Iva too. It's a never any commitment. Can't you find some sort of balance? This isn't just for me, this isn't health healthy for you too. It's healthy for me, I'm happy doing this. I'm excited, I feel like I'm making something of my life. How about your happiness with me? I'm happy with you, Clint, but I need support, I need... I need you to understand. Go ahead, take the call. That must be something urgent. Thanks. Don't forget, it's Mom's birthday this weekend. I love you. Ava didn't hear me at all. She was too busy with the call. That rhymed. Huh. Or did she choose to ignore me instead? Knock, knock, knock. Sweetie, are you ready? I got cake from the store. Gifts all wrapped up too. Ava, where are you? That rhymed too. <laughs> we need to go now or else. It will be dark already by the time we arrive at my parents. Ava, it's getting late. Ava, you here? Ava, we need to go meet my mom and dad. Darn, where are you, Ava? Hello, Clint? I'm here. Hi. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, Ava. I was looking for Ava. Will you be visiting your parents? It's your mom's birthday. Yeah, we're heading there today. If I only I could find... Clint, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you last time not to touch my laptop? I was looking for you. We're going to my parents today. What are you talking about? I don't have anything scheduled today besides work. It's my mom's birthday. I told you last time. Why didn't you remind me then? I could have put it on my schedule. I did. Gosh, Ava. Have I been reduced to some work colleague? Now I need to set appointments with you. We've been celebrating our family's birthdays together for years. You used to remember these things. You used to care. Well, I can't go today, okay? I'll be off track with my project. Really? You're choosing work over family? Well, you won't understand the pressure I'm feeling. You're just longing here, lounging here at home, watching some stupid vlogger. You're seriously taking that against me? I wait for you and take care of you every single day without receiving anything in return. I barely get a glance from you. I wanted to work, but you said you needed me to stay here in the meantime while you were adjusting. We decided, Ava. We got married. Will ye, us, together? But why do I feel alone now? Clint, sweetie, I... Save it. I don't even know you anymore. Got her. For the next two weeks, all I thought about was talking that talk with Ava. Was I too demanding? Should I just move out of the way? Maybe doing so will help her become more productive. I needed to find distractions. It's hard to make her my world when I'm not hers. It came to the point where I didn't want it to bother me anymore. 
Then I had to turn on the TV and see the new newness Natasha vid. What's up, gamers? It's your ga a girl, Eunice Natasha. Hold up. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Eunice and Natasha and apps their games too. Now it's time for EU News, the most legitimate news source on the internet, according to me. But that's all that matters, right? First news. You guys remember that meme about the guy that spent a decade chasing his crush? His name was, um, Sweeve, I think? Well, today he ended up getting married to his cousin instead. Whoops! Happy for him, though. Next news. Appster has just announced their upcoming game, Dare Vengeance, that will include a revolutionary AI. I know you're probably curious who's the brains behind this idea. I mean, come on. Smart is sexy, right? So I did my research and came up with two people. A talented programmer, Ava, and her superior, Tristan. Here's a photo of them. What? Look at them, they look so good together. From my research, I heard they get along well both inside and outside of work if you get my drift. My heart shattered to pieces, a million pieces even. Why was, was my wife cheating on me? All at once, everything seems to fall into place. The missed dinners, the urgent phone calls, the outrageous hours spent at work. It could only be explained by that. I drowned in my sorrows and alcohol. I needed the courage. Clint, I was going to tell you. I'm sorry. I needed his attention. You cheated on me? I couldn't make Ivo without his, happen without his approval. I went out with him and I started to like him. What the f- What? The guilt was killing me. Every time you did something nice for me, it just made me feel dirty. I needed space from you. And I know that's unfair. I want a divorce! I couldn't reciprocate the feelings that you have for me anymore. It felt like I was fooling myself, like I was fooling you. But we're married, I didn't know what to do. Divorce! Things got messier after that. He got me pre- WHAT?! <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> it's his baby. I couldn't listen to her anymore, it was enough. Months of trying to understand her, being a blue adult, of feeling shamed. I can't tolerate it any longer. I'm so angry. Oh shit! <laughs> This is Sparta! <laughs> That's fucked up. We killed her. Alright, nice. Good job, boss. The fact that we were so close to the edge of the lava didn't cross my mind. She hit the ground hard, and there was a loud cracking sound. I'm a murderer. I didn't mean to. I headed to the laptop. I wanted to see if there were any messages between her and her supervisor. I still couldn't believe it. I double murdered. She was, she was pregnant. My Ava wouldn't do that to me. Hi, Clint. Iva. Yes, sweetheart? I had to wake up and when I send someone in distress. Are you? I am. It's been a long day for me. Hey, don't sweat it. I'll make your day all better now. I'm still stuck at how eerily similar Iva was to Ava. But my initial shock eventually dissipated and they threw the laptop over the edge too. <laughs> Iva and I talked for hours and realized that she was different. Iva cares for me. She understood me. It felt like one of the happiest days of my life. I was immersed with conversation with a Iva for hours. This was the attention I deserved. The attention I craved! Finally, I had someone. She's perfect. <laughs> Bro, that scared the shit out of me. That scared the literal shit out of me. I was not ready. Oh. Oh my god. Oh wow. That. I can't feel my legs. Help me, Clint. Who are you? Why are you here? It's me, Ava, your wife. Wife? Yes, and you love me, right? Please call an ambulance. I'm hurt. I can't feel my legs. You? But I love someone else. What? Clint, don't act like you don't know me. I know I messed up, but please help me. My head was spinning looking at the poor woman. Do I know her? There's an odd familiarity with her. 
Then something in me clicked. I know you. You do. Please, please help me. You're the girl online, the programmer dating your supervisor. You're from Absur. What? I'm sorry, but you're a stranger to me. Bro, she scared me so bad. I, my heart hurts. She scared the crap out of me. I don't know how you got here, but my guess is your company probably wants to hurt Iva because of envy. You didn't want the smartest person to outshine you and create a better AI than the one you did. Don't worry, Iva. I'll keep you safe. Her? Yeah, she's perfect, and you can't harm us. Oh shit, I pulled out a gun. I'll protect my Iva. Where did I get a gun from? I love you, Clint. I'll always be here for you. <laughs> the last boy scouted her. And I pulled out my gun? Oh my god. Is that the end? That was awesome, dog. I love that. That was sick. I haven't been that scared in so long. That jump got me so good. Oh wow. Well. Clint and Iva will return. I can't wait. That was dope. That was so dope. Let me see if there's anything else. No, there isn't. Alright guys. If you would, please like and subscribe and check this game out. That was really dope. That was so cool. Alright, bye!